Now, first of all, you now take the time, please, so that we know the time that we're traveling. It is um, 22:28, the 4th of August, 2013. Earlier, we played you a video which indicated our trip to London, and we showed you how the road network is and the level of driving abilities of most of the drivers. Now on our way back, we left London at about uh, 9.30, we're now on the M1, heading back to Bradford. And most of the cars now, like we showed you in the afternoon video, nobody is hugging the right lane. The right lane is still left for those who would overtake. The roads are as good as we expressed them initially. And the beauty about it is that for the 30 minutes clips that you are going to see this stretch of the M1 from London to the north of England to Scotland all has street lighting all the way and the only place you will find non-street lights will be the forest reserves. Now cars wanting to join from the slip road that have just come from the M25 are signaling. Now I have overtaken the car in question so I will need to come back to the middle lane so that I don't walk the right hand lane which is meant for overtaking only. I saw a car in front with security information I believe with the normal lights. Look how clear the road is. Look how decent it is. We are talking about this is half ten at night. People driving with the belief that the road is smooth and they will not encounter any potholes. It's actually better to drive at night in the UK than during the day because your journey time is shorter. If you look at the board there, it's telling us M1 towards Luton. We are about 200 miles to Bradford. So this video is going to be very short. What we are trying to indicate to you is look at the cars coming from the other side of the road and the cars on this side of the road all doing the normal speed limit. Those who are overtaking signal to overtake just to give you the impression that they are trying to do something. And after overtaking, if they have a clear view in front, they will maintain their speed and get back to the leftmost lane, either the left lane, in this case there are four lanes, they go to either the, the, the outer lane, which is the fourth lane, or the second lane, and stuff. Now we're going to overtake, so I'll check my mirrors, I'll signal, I'll make progress. Cars in front, there's nobody hugging the outer lane, and you will not find any truck, any of the articulated truck, using the innermost lane, which is the right hand lane in this case. Again, look in the distance, how lit the road is. Only God knows if the armed robbers would have the opportunity to come and hide under any cover to rob people. I doubt. The beauty is this. We as a country, Nigeria, the resources that have been stolen, the resources that have been looted by our leaders right from independence is enough to provide such facilities. Even the resources that are being stolen at the moment and the cost of building roads that are overinflated can actually provide these facilities for us. Now, what do we need to do as Nigerians, most especially as Deltans? Electing the right individuals with the right frame of mind 
who have proven over the years has been decent individuals whose means of livelihood, whose resources can be traced as being gotten in the rightful way. The issue of Godfatherism in our politics is a bane of our societal problems, coupled with the level of corruption. When a project is awarded, majority or a vast amount of the money in question is either given back as a kickback, 10% kickback, only God knows whether it's about 50% now. We must. Now, because there is a road going to turn off to looting, that's why we're seeing so many cars. So despite the number of cars, we're talking about it's now 1034. If you look at the outer lane, all the trucks will drive in the outer lane and at most the second lane, they will never come into the middle or the innermost lane, which is the lane we are in at the moment. These things were not built or achieved in one day. They were achieved over the years. They were achieved as a result of honesty, as a result of transparency in governance, and as a result of accountability for every project that is executed. Now the point at stake here is Projects have time frame. Any project that is started has a terminal date. You cannot do a road project endlessly and you think people would benefit because the issues of inflation comes in and the cost of the project possibly by the terminal date would have doubled. Now I'm going to switch over to the third lane as it is clear in front. And I'll possibly go back to the second lane because it's also clear in front. So now you see those in the third lane are there just because they want to overtake and majority of them because of the high uh, driver training standards and a structured driver training and testing regime that is in place majority of the drivers are of have attained the highest level of driving skills before coming to the uh, motorways especially because you have to do the pass plus if you have your help to do that so what we are pleading with nigerians with our young men who allow themselves to be used at every election is that our country can achieve this feat. Our country and our state can achieve this feat. And the only way we can achieve it is for us to vote in the right candidates at all elections, presidential, governorship, senatorial, house of representatives, how the various houses of assembly, chairman of local government councils, the councillors in local government, all must be chosen based on credibility and ability and the will and the willingness to serve the masses and to also allow for high level developmental trades to be achieved as against the mediocrity we find and using their psycho fans to tell us of high level achievements without that. Now there is no street, uh, street lights here now like I told you we are now in the, na in the national forest zone and also to protect the lives of the wildlife, the 
street lights are not in the zone just to make sure that you know you keep the animals in question in safe guard because of the light effect there so for some while you will see that there will be no street lights but I, we are not going to switch off this discussion until we will get another set of lights so that you know that because of the forest zone that is why the street lights you know had to go out now the man in the right hand lane has overtaken because he's there now we can see in front of us all the cars are driving in their lanes there's no switching from one lane to another we're going to go to the right hand lane so we're going to check the center mirror right mirror the signal right and we go we're going to maintain it for some time now the street lights are beginning to come back and we can begin to see them now so we've gotten past the the national forest that protects the wildlife of the zone in uh, question so i appeal to all nigerians and all deltas it is in your hands to elect credible leaders don't allow yourself to be used on a four yearly basis especially the youths and get dumped at the end of the day God bless you.